All right, guys, so we've got another update on the whole Bally Sports situation, and it looks like they are hanging on by a literal thread, and we do finally have maybe a deadline May 31st for when this situation might get resolved. The MLB may take over broadcasting some of these teams' games because Bally Sports at this point is just completely leeching. They're missing payments, but they're still airing games. And, uh, you know, mainly because uh, these things take time when it comes to the courts and the ruling. So, Cincinnati Reds, Bally Sports, misses payments. MLB may broadcast games. We've also got the Phoenix Suns straight up ditching Bally Sports, set to show games for free. Uh, That situation as well, let's get into... What is going on with the Reds? The Diamond Sports Group, the parent company for Bally Sports Ohio, files for bankruptcy in March. It missed its last rights fee payment to the Reds on April 17th. Diamond has a 15-day window to make that payment without penalty. If it misses that window, it's possible the MLB could secure the rights, of course, Uh, That window is quickly coming up. Following the six-game road trip, the Reds' first game against the Chicago White Sox will be on Apple TV+, Plus, which is is so annoying, but, you know, MLB did that deal with the streaming stuff. Uh, The next Reds versus White Sox game on May 6th is a potential turning point, according to people familiar with the situation. Uh, Diamond has already missed right fees payments to the Guardians, Twins, Rangers, Diamondbacks. Those teams still have their games airing on Bally Sports as MLB attempts to secure full payment or TV rights through bankruptcy court. And that's the main reason why Bally is still able to air these games even after they already missed the window, the 15-day window. Uh, These things take time. It has to go through bankruptcy court, and the hearing is on May 31st. So it's looking like we're going to continue to wait a little bit for this whole situation. But apparently the red situation is different than all the other MLB teams because they hold equity stake in Bally Sports Ohio. The Sports Business Journal reported the presence of that joint venture has kept The regional sports network separate from the bankruptcy proceeding. There are five other teams that hold stake in Bally Sports Networks. So this could be a situation where the, like the Suns, where they just say, we're leaving. You know, it's a little bit different for the Reds. This may kind of speed up the process in terms of the MLB taking over their games. Major League Baseball is ready to produce and distribute games to fans in their local markets in the event that Diamond or any other regional sports network is unable to do so. And there was actually a rumor that Root Sports, who has three MLB teams, I believe. I know they definitely have Seattle. There was a rumor that they might uh, go under or declare bankruptcy and lose the rights to their team ga- team's games as well. Of course, this is always going to happen with streaming I think the Diamond, you know, sports, they made a terrible decision taking over from Fox with all these regional networks. With I mean, if you're a young person, let's say you move into a new apartment. It is so hard, so annoying, and so expensive to get cable, to get the cable box. Streaming from your smart TV is just so much more easier and originally I was someone that was naive to it. I said, "No, streaming sucks." But now I do understand why streaming is an easier option for younger people and all of these regional sports networks that are mainly cable, like Bally Sports, for example. There are so many people that complain Bally Sports, you know, doesn't offer this streaming option or this streaming site. You have to go fully embrace when it comes to streaming. Otherwise, you'll be in a situation like Bally Sports is where they're declaring bankruptcy. And then this situation, the Phoenix Suns ditch Bally Sports, set to show games for free as teams and leagues grapple with rapidly changing TV landscape accelerated by cord cutters and Diamond Sports recent bankruptcy filing, the Suns and the WNBA Mercury are taking an interesting approach. Uh, And it says the Phoenix Suns and Mercury have cut ties with Bally Sports Arizona, 
the regional sports carrier that has carried games for 20 years. The plan for their upcoming seasons, a new deal with an over-the-air carrier that will televise games locally for free with a streaming option also available at a yet-to-be-determined price per ESPN. The new deal could cost the Suns tens of millions of dollars in yearly revenue in the forms of rights fees they previously received from Bally's parent company, Diamond Sports, but it will make the games available to an estimated 2.8 million viewers, about 2 million more than currently have act. I mean, that's terrible, you know, but that's the problem with Bally Sports. It's just not available to a lot of people, even local people within the region, it's not available and especially with this move. So the Suns are saying, listen, uh, we're going to bite the bullet on, although I don't know, I can't just see a team willingly losing tens of millions of dollars. You would think they would raise their ticket prices or charge something some other way. But there is the idea that maybe if we make our games free and more accessible to people, we will gain more fans, more revenue, people will buy our stuff, things like that. Uh, It does make sense. And then it says, in the short term, Diamond Sports withheld a scheduled payment to the Twins while BSN has continued to show games, which I think is Bally Sports North that shows the Twins game. MLB had to file a motion on behalf of the Twins and other affected teams seeking to force Diamond to either pay up or let MLB take over the broadcast and distribution of games. And then it says, more clarity should come on May 31st. Now, originally, the last time I did one of these videos, they were talking about the 15-day payment window that they allowed, like, because Bally Sports missed the payment for the Guardians, Reds, Twins, and the Diamondbacks. And they were saying, if the 15-day payment window goes and they don't pay any of them, then the MLB will get rights to the games. But that's actually not how it works because, you know, this is a bankruptcy court. It takes time. Uh, you're going to have to at least wait until May 31st. So Bally is airing Guardians games without having paid. They missed their payment. They're still airing them. Uh, Same thing with like the Diamondbacks. Same thing with some of these other teams like the Twins. And it just comes down to a legal process that takes time. Uh, The bankruptcy judge is slated to hear the arguments on May 31st. So maybe it'll happen by them. And the MLB, I'm sure, is ready to take over. And then we've also got the Texas Rangers possibly leaving Bally Sports as well with the Reds, Suns, and Mercury all plotting to potentially move away from their television rights holders. Could the Texas Rangers be next? Uh, DSG, which is the Diamond Sports Group, failed to make its payment to the Rangers on April 15th. The Rangers joined with MLB, the Twins, and the Guardians earlier this month in a legal effort to receive the rights fee payments owned while DSG goes through bankruptcy proceedings. DSG's failed to make its scheduled payments to teams like the Rangers could allow those teams, along with MLB, to begin a process to break free of those contracts. The Rangers sent a letter to DSG before it entered bankruptcy stating it would terminate its TV rights agreement if the company became insolvent. So that is the situation. Looks like the Rangers are also involved in this uh, with Bally Sports. Just a complete mess, and we should get more clarity on May 31st, but it looks like right now this is just a matter of time. This is a matter of legal proceedings. Obviously, Bally's going to try and exercise every legal option they have to prolong this process and keep airing these games and try and make any sort of ad revenue that they can But it does seem inevitable that the MLB will have to do something and and possibly, you know, if if the red situation really is different, maybe by this next week, the MLB might have to take over and regionally air the Cincinnati Reds games locally. And I would imagine they would just use their scoreboard that they use for kind of their exclusive games, which is a fine scoreboard. It's nothing special. I would have liked to have seen a little bit of an improved graphics package from them personally. But I will say, let me give Bally Sports credit. I don't know if you guys have kind of seen this, but Bally Sports, what they're doing now with their scoreboard... You know, when a team wears throwbacks, they will actually change like the color and they will change the logo. And I will say that is something that is really cool. Now, I still do not like the Bally Sports scoreboard. It You cannot have a scoreboard take up the entire bottom screen. 
It's just ugly. I'm sorry, but I will give them credit. They did this season upgrade their graphics package, especially when a player hits a home run. It does look a lot better, and it is kind of cool how, you know, if a team wears a throwback or if it's a different uniform, they will change the logo. They'll change the overall color of the team on the scoreboard, which gives the scoreboard a little bit more of a unique feel to it and something. It almost makes the game feel a little bit more special or just a little bit different. So I'll give Bally Sports credit for that. You know, you would it's kind of shocking they're, they're even able to uh, come up with the money to hire someone to do this. I'm kidding. But, you know, this is just a situation with Bally Sports. They came in at the wrong time. You know, taking over for Fox, you know, spending all that money right when everyone was cord cutting the mass movement to streaming just because it's easier and it's cheaper. It is here. It's here not only with TV shows, not only with, you know, whether it's a subscription network like Netflix, but it's also here with live sports and sports packages. And the issue that Bally Sports was having is you would have people cut the, you know, completely go like they would leave DirecTV or AT&T U-verse. They would go on and choose one of the streaming services, one of the most popular ones, and pick all your channels. Like, I want e- I want this package with ESPN, ESPN2, but then Bally Sports wouldn't be an option. Like, Bally Sports, you know, Southwest or Bally Sports North, that wouldn't be an option included in a lot of streaming services, which is a big, big issue. So... This is a situation where no matter if it was Bally Sports or someone else, you know, it was this was always going to happen, but I don't think Bally Sports did themselves any favors by the way they presented these games even though they have made some improvements. Uh they still just will not get over the idea of having that obnoxious scoreboard at the bottom. So, that is what it is. Maybe by May 31st these teams uh, uh, you know, the the bankruptcy judge will rule that these teams' rights, you know, should be handed over to the MLB because Bally Sports isn't paying for them. You would expect that to happen, uh, but this is going to be a situation that does take time because we know how the legal process works. It's always a long process. So, so that is the current update on Bally Sports. They are hanging on by a thread, and I would say because what? How many teams? Rights do they have? 14, I think, in the MLB. You know, right now they've missed four or five. My thought on the teams that they chose not to pay are the teams that earn them the least money, right? So that's why it's like, oh, the Guardians, the Diamondbacks, the Reds, you know. I think the Guardians and the Reds both share this. No, I don't think they do. They they, they might have, like, under Fox. Actually, I don't think so because the, the, the Indians were under Sports Time Ohio. But either way, guys, it is what it is. We're going to have to see what happens with Bally Sports. They're trying to hang on. They're missing payments. They're doing anything they can to delay it. But they are simply not paying to, to, for these teams' rights, and they're still airing the games because of the legal proceedings. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.